Okay, hello everyone. My name's uh, Jordy from Carving Fusion, and today I'm going to uh, do an unboxing of this Dremel 3000. I run lots of Dremels. I got the Dremel 4300. I got a Dremel 4000, um, and um, I always use the flex shafts. I bought this box. I intend to use it. This uh, Dremel 3000. With the flex shaft, I didn't buy the kit because I already have an extra flex shaft. I pre-opened this box because they're hard to open. So I'll be hooking this Dremel up to this Dremel flex shaft. Um, okay, let's get her open. So I bought the box, like this one has all the different bits and stuff in here. Here's like a sanding bit to for sanding stuff. I use some of these bits for carving. Like I'll use those little sanders. I'll use this to uh, clean up some carvings. I'll, you know, I'll basically use all of these little bits they have. Um, this is the kind of stuff I carve. This is like an eagle. This is juniper wood. I carved this with the Dremel 4300 flex shaft. And I use carving burrs, guys. I use a burr called Cutsaw. This is what the kind of burr that I kind of use for my carvings. But Dremel does make carving burrs, okay? But this this is the brown that I kind of like to use. This is a 1 8 shaft uh, Cutsaw flame burr. Okay, so let's open this Dremel up. See what kind of surprises we got in here. Okay, so we got where our instructions. Okay, here's I believe this is a part number. Um, I paid I think I paid one hundred twenty dollars for this Dremel, and don't think that you need the Dremel three thousand people to. Uh, start carving. I, I even use a Dremel 300 and uh, where I do my chainsaw carvings and uh, it works perfectly fine too. So if you can't afford the bigger Dremels, just buy one of the smaller ones. Okay, so what's this? This is, uh, oh, so this is so you can register. I normally don't do this. This is the product registration. I normally don't do this, but uh, I think I'm going to with this one. You can just fill it out, whatever. You can do that picture thing there. So, but yeah, I will definitely be filling this. Uh, let us know how much you love Dremel. Well, Jordy from Carving Fusion loves Dremel. I use it in all my videos. The flex shaft. Uh, what's this? This is a customer service uh, order form. Technical assistance order form. So you can see what... Um, which ones you want to buy, I guess. Oh yeah, here's all the different models. Well, for the accessories. Mine would be wood, so all the different, um, I'm sure you could look this up and then go online and see what these numbers are for, for the different um, burrs that they have, Dremel attachments. They have it for metal, wood, glass, tile, ceramic, drywall, fiberglass, and plastic. Hmm, that's pretty good to have if you want to try and find a certain type of burr. Just fill it out, maybe call in or something. Here's your uh, instructions. Instruction manual. I, uh, first hand, don't really read, read instructions. Maybe that's why I break so much stuff. They call these heavy hands. <laughs> okay, what's this? This might be... Um, well, just some more instructions for your for your Dremel. Oh, it's for the sanding grinding uh, attachment there. That's for this attachment. How to how how to use it and how it works. And some of these burrs in here, these attachments will be for this bit. Yeah, so it gives you a step by step how to install it, and I'm sure if you read everything, how it works. 
pretty good. Okay, let's get to the fun stuff. Let's just check out these burrs quick, okay? This is a tape shot. These are little sanding pads. They go on this, uh, where's the sanding thing here? They go on a rubber uh, sanding thing. Well, I definitely use these for cleaning up my, uh, like when I do whiskers on uh, like wood spirits on their beards and mustaches, cleaning up the little fuzzies. I'll definitely use this too. Clean up the fuzzies. Here's a little wrench that we'll definitely be using to install the, um, the flex shaft. Where's that little thing for the... Oh, here it is. So the sanding, the sanding disc is, sand is already on here. So these are pretty easy to uh, remove. And it's not zooming in. There you go. You just put this little screwdriver in there. You loosen it off. Change the, change the disc and put a new one on. These work great for sanding in tight spots. Okay, so there's some other stuff in here, but I'm not going to... This is um, actually what else will I use for curving? I'll use this bit here too. This will get it. This is a stone for smoothing things out before I uh, stain it. And some buffing wheels. All the attachments for these wheels and stuff are in this little kit. Okay. So now what we're going to do is look at the Dremel itself. I have like seven Dremels, guys. <laughs> you know, I just, uh, I, I use them like crazy. So here it is. The Dremel 3000 model, okay? You already got your collet in there. I assume it's one eighth for the shafts. This hook here, guys, I always use them. Lots of people don't know what they're for, but it's for when you're using a flex shaft and you can hang this. You know, you want to hang it so when you're using your flex shaft, your flex shaft is free to move where it will because you don't want to get it crimped. So that's what this is for, to hang your Dremel when you're using the flex shaft, okay? So, yeah, nice box. Let's put this aside. So now what we're going to do, I'll, I pre-open this flex shaft thing because these things are hard to open. I had to cut it before because I'd be cutting it with scissors on the video here and I don't want to be swearing when I'm doing this opening video. Let's pull this out. Here is your Dremel flex shaft. I've used all different types of rotors. All different types of the flex shafts from different makes and different brands. This one absolutely is the best. Is the best, the bang for the buck. Okay. It's, um, this is the pin to push to change your shaft with your little screw, change your little bit. Anyways, I'm getting ahead of the game. Okay, so you got a little pack in here, right? Eh? Here's some collets and another thing of those screws. So let's open this up. Take this out because we need this for the flex shaft. We need this for the flex shaft. Yes, we do. Okay, another thing, toss it aside. Okay, part number. Okay, I'm, I'm going to, uh, you see that? I'm going to put this black board down here so I don't drop anything down my carving hole, uh, carving table holes. And I'm going to install more instructions, I take it. If you want to open that and look at that. I've, I've, I've done a thousand of them guys, so I don't need to read the instructions. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to hook up this flex shaft. Let me make sure the camera's on here. Okay, we're going to take off this bit here. Take it right off. This is your locking pin, okay? Just turn this off. That blue button there, locking pin. Okay. Gotta call it in there. Where's this thing? Now for the flex shaft, we're gonna install this one. This is it's square in here, so you, the, so the drive for your flex shaft. I'll show you. Okay, you see that drive in here? I don't know if you can see it. That pin. 
that's square and that this is square okay this goes on your Dremel and this will fit inside of your Dremel okay so we'll screw this on okay and I don't think we need anything else on there do we okay we'll put this in there There we go, it's fit on. Snug it up tight. Okay, so now our dribble flex shaft is attached. You see guys? So this bit here, with the collet in it, here's the collet anyways. Okay? This is one eighth. There's all different sizes you can get. I don't know what the biggest and the smallest size is for the flex shaft, but the standard one I use is 1 8 shaft. Okay. So we'll put this in. We'll put this on. And there we go. And now let's get, uh, where's that uh, cuts all bit? So this is the 1 8 cuts all shaft that I use. Sorry, Dremel, but this is the type of bird that I use to do the carving. Okay, and just tighten her up. This is your locking pin right here. Turn that, make sure it's locked in place and then just tighten this up with the wrench that they give you. Simple. Everything takes a little bit when you first get it because you gotta break in every, everything too, right? I don't know why that's not going tight. Or maybe it is. Okay, human error. So here we go. Let's plug her in. Make sure it's turned off when you plug it in. It's off. This is a variable variable speed uh, drill. Most of them are until you get down to like the two hundreds or whatever. Okay, let's turn her on. Sometimes it takes a little while for these things to break in, so you're not going to get max speed out of them. Just take your time. There we go. Just breaking in, right? It's got to break in. Give it a minute or two. Like, leave your flex shaft straight so all the lubes and everything can get in throughout the flex shaft. You can hear it speeding up. Hear it? Everything's breaking in. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it off. Now what I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang this uh, Dremel 3000. This is a wood spirit carving I did today. It's on an old uh, rolling pin. Just blasted it off right for a customer. So here's another one I did today with the Dremel. I use a Dremel 4300 for this guy. It's a lot more cutting and stuff and deep depth in there, right? So, but anyways, let me do this uh, demonstration for you. Quick carving and uh, there's my unbox unboxing of the Dremel 3000. Sometimes I get my uh, words confused, guys. I got a head injury and uh, sometimes things just uh, don't come out as they, as they quite mean them to come out. But, uh, What's the best rotary tool? In my opinion, Carving Fusion, Dremel Rocks. And today with my Dremel Flex Shaft, I'm gonna be doing a quick wood spirit carving. It will be fast forward. This thing will probably take me about 10 minutes to carve. So um, this is my basic template that I always use. Just draw it on quickly. That one kind of die in there and his eyes so we'll do a fast forward wood spirit carving for you guys today with my new uh, Dremel 
4000 and my flex shaft. And there you guys have it. Quick uh, speed uh, carving of a wood spirit. This guy's got kind of got a funky nose. This uh, this guy took me five minutes to carve, guys. So uh, I'll do some touching up and cleaning up with some of the bits that I got in the Dremel pack. And um, hope everybody's good.